My name is Tom Matson. I'm the Senior Director of Executive Leadership for the Gallup Education Practice. Every 19 seconds, someone goes through StrengthsFinder and they have found that it's about life change for them. We've seen over 600 campuses embrace a strengths model and get real excited about the change that strengths can have on their students, faculty, and staff. In fact, we found that people that uh, are able to use their strengths, they're more engaged, they love uh, coming to work and school. But we've also learned that that's where some uh, campuses stop. They think that simply handing out codes and getting uh, students excited about strengths is really what matters, and it's not. Uh, here's the challenge, is that students want to be able to do something with their strengths. It is a unique part of who they are. They want to be able to embrace those and put those into action. So when we look at best practice, we look at schools that really understand that strengths is not the why, it's just simply the how. The why is something that matters to the campus. Here's what we know about our best practice schools. We know that they took the time to figure out the why from the very get-go. And the why was never something like self-awareness, although that is an outcome of strengths, but rather it was something that they could truly measure and they could track and try to figure out if they were really able to use strengths for the right things. So one of the things we know is that they created a strengths advisory team right from the get-go. A team that was diverse, that really was making up the campus, had faculty and some students and some staff that really were able to make the right decisions over the why. So we have some, some campuses that are looking at a well-being model and they say what matters to us is community well-being and the engagement of our students and that's why they're using strengths. For others, they're saying that physical well-being matters and that's why we're using strengths and so they use strengths to uh, help students understand how they could use their unique top five to impact their physical well-being and create action steps and goals and those goals change over time whether it be the freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, or senior year. For some it's engagement. Gallup's been studying over 23 million people. We know a lot about engagement. We know it matters to things like retention. We know it matters to a student showing up and again loving what they do day in and day out. And we know our faculty are also contagious when it comes to their own engagement. If they love what they do, uh, they are contagious in the classroom and students can feel that and embrace that. The uh, second thing that we know is that they have an executive champion of some kind, someone that is uh, in support of everything that's going on on campus and support of strengths, uh, so much so that they're willing to invest the time and resources into the model and over a period of time, typically three or four years. Next, I, I think more than anything else, I want you to be able to articulate the why of strengths to anyone that asks. If I'm a parent and I get in the elevator with you, you should be able to say, why strengths? Here's what it is. And it should be something, again, that we could come back to and your president could ask, did it work? And we, we could say, sure, it worked. Look at what took place. When I show up to your campus, one of the things I hope for is when I walk up to a student and say, why are you using strengths? They say, well, Tom, it's easy. It's about the well-being of our students. In fact, I was on a campus recently that was using strengths. And one of the student leaders stood up and she was president of her sorority. I said, why are you using strengths on your campus? And she said, it's really easy. It's because of well-being. And she said, uh, here uh, is the top five of one of my friends that's in my sorority. And we found that her grades started to suffer. We found that she was just showing up to required events because she's high responsibility, but she wasn't coming to things outside of that. So we sat down with her and said, what's going on? You you're just are not looking the same. Your strengths aren't looking like the same anymore. Are you okay? And she said, I'm not okay. She said, my parents are going through a divorce. And she said, so my... Uh, well-being is at a spot where I'm off. I'm off my game. They told me they couldn't afford to send me back to the university and so now my financial well-being was off and, uh, and I don't feel connected to this community in the same way anymore so her community well-being was off. And so because of that she was struggling to eat and to show up to class and she was just at a hard spot. So I asked the student leader, what'd you do? And she said, we sat down with her, we looked at her top five strengths and we said, how do we use these to get you past this spot of suffering? And so we met, uh, went with her and we got a scholarship through our sorority. We went to the financial aid office. We helped her there. We would do physical well-being sessions with her. We'd go on walks and we'd study with her. And every day we were a part of her life to get her past this spot. So I said, what was the outcome? And she said, I don't know. She's sitting right here. Why don't you ask her? And she stood up and she said, by them understanding my well-being and my engagement, and by them using the unique part of who I am, my strengths, they created life change. And because of that, I'm a different person. You see, when I show up to your campus, I want to hear those types of stories. And at the end of the day, when your president walks up to you and says, why does strengths matter? You're going to have the right answer and the life-changing answer. 
Uh, and if you think about those things and take those things into heart and really put the effort in upfront, your campus will never be the same. We'd love to partner with you. We'd love to help you create that strategy. Thanks so much for being interested in how you can create a life change through the strengths model and the strengths lens, impacting the engagement, the hope, and the well-being of students.